YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here whoa almost dropped you but it's engraving here with another video and in this video well first and foremost let me introduce myself and stop being rude me I'm engraving vids uh, I'm a Ravens fan I have that gift and that curse because uh, that's what comes with being a Ravens fan but um, I'm a fan those are my boys love them enjoy them they give us some of the greatest heartaches um, and some of the best heart attacks you could ever get. But anyway, um, oh man, 17 of y'all in here already? I ain't, I ain't know that many of y'all were up this early. 19 people in here already? What's going on, man? Oh man, what's going on, everybody? Good morning to you. Good, really good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, make sure y'all leave a like on the video too. I ain't know 20, 21 people are gonna be in here so early, so fast. I ain't even been streaming a minute yet, but I appreciate y'all anyway. Um, let's get right into it and I, I just had to let y'all know exactly what I thought about this So they're talking about linebacker Zachary Orr. He may come out of retirement now The reason why Zachary why Zachary Orr went into retirement was because He had neck issues. He had they discovered that he had some problem in his neck um, And I was saying when it first happened. I was glad that they found it out while during the off season, I was really glad about that because um, if they would have found out about it during the season, it obviously would have been bad because that would have meant he got injured while he was on the field or something, and that wouldn't be good. So I was happy for him. Oh, I, I I am happy for him that he retired and he he ain't had to go through that on the field. Now um, he must have. The only thing they haven't said exactly why, but. They said he's thinking about coming out of retirement because he got a different prognosis. So he must have went to a doctor and the doctor told him, hey, Zo, um, uh, you you may be straight. You might be straight, Zachary. You might be straight. Uh, you may be able to play again. Uh, the, the neck injury might not be as serious as you thought it was. Who knows? We don't know yet because that hasn't come out yet. But um, it obviously is enough for him to consider coming out of retirement. Now... With him coming out of retirement, that's where it gets tricky because he's not, uh, he's a free agent. So he can go, he could go wherever he wants to. If he comes out of retirement, he doesn't have to come to Ravens because he's not contractually obligated to come to Baltimore because he's not a Raven. He's a free agent if he comes back. Um, and I, I know for a fact I'm 3,000% sure if he wouldn't have retired, then he would have got an extension. He would have got a deal. He would still be in Baltimore. But um, since he said he's going to retire, they didn't give him no contract or whatnot. And this would this would help. If he does come back to the NFL, this will help Baltimore a lot. Reason why? Because they don't know who's going to start next to C.J. Mosley. C.J. Mosley's already a, he's already a starter. We already know that. That's our dude. He's a beast. He's been a beast since he came in the league. We love C.J. Mosley. Um, but he doesn't have that clear-cut guy next to him. They said it might be uh, K.O., Camellia, Correa, um, or it could be somebody else. They don't know who it's going to be yet. But if Zachary Orr came back, then he would be that guy. He would be that guy because we know what he can do. Um, the guy can play. He can play. Um, and he would be a certified starter. Now, with him being out of football for the past couple months, um, he just had to get acclimated again, get back in football shape, so to speak. Uh, and then I'm sure they would just plug him right in there to that starting role. Uh, but anyway, but first and foremost, he would have to actually be part of the team. Now, where do I think he's going to go if he does come back? Me, I honestly think, my personal opinion, um, even without with bias aside, I honestly think he would come back to Baltimore because Baltimore is the ones who gave him a shot. Baltimore is where he thrived at. If he goes to Baltimore, he knows. He knows the coaching staff. He knows everybody there. He knows the players, and he knows that he could have a starting position. He knows his best chance of getting on the field. I mean, there's other teams that want to sign him, of course. We already know that. But his best chance of... Uh, He'll be in a system that he knows already. And, and sometimes it's not all about the system. Straight up, if you can play football, you can play football. And you're a good player. And it ain't going to matter what the system is. But for him, he's familiar with everything here. This is home. This is where he started. Oh, well, not where he started, but this is where he's been at. And this is where he's thrived at. This is where he knows. So I really think if he does come out of retirement, 
I think he's going to give Baltimore the first shot and be like, hey, I'm a Raven. I retired a Raven. If I unretire, I want to give y'all a shot to sign me to a deal. Um, it, I'm sure it wouldn't be no big deal. Uh, it wouldn't be this big lucrative deal, this lucrative free agent deal. We know he can play, but he's not going to get all this money, especially with the issues he had with his neck. Because, um, and, and again, we don't know the details of that because that hasn't come out yet. It, ha it hasn't it hasn't come out yet. Um, so we don't know exactly what's going on with his neck. We don't know if it's something that they said it could possibly be injured, be uh, it could possibly get hurt again, or get he could get injured again. We don't know what what's going on with it, but I mean we'll see, we'll see. I'm sure more, um, I'm sure more information is gonna come out later today, um, over these next couple hours, um, and we'll see. We just gotta wait and see now. Um, and the ball that will be really be in his court because with him being a free agent. So he'll be able to go wherever he decides to. And again, that's only if he comes out of retirement. That's only if, only if. Um, though Justin Boyd say he got the feeling that Orr won't come back because of how KO's doing. We'll see, we'll see. If he won't, if he doesn't come back, I won't be mad at him. Somebody just said um, that every time he gets, every time he gets tackled, he gets carried. Um, he, he wasn't the best linebacker in the world. I mean, he, he had his little issues here and there. And a lot of people go back to that, um, a lot of people, when they want to get on Zachary Orr, they go back to that, uh, the game against the Browns, our first game against the Browns, where, uh, Isaiah Crowell got that, like, 80-something-yard touchdown. And a lot of people go back to that game and say, hey, that was his fault. That was all K, um, not KO, that was all Zachary Orr's fault. He want to call him KO. Um, and you could say that, but the guy, he still makes plays. He gets interceptions. He gets fumble recovery. He, he gets turnovers. He recovers a lot of turnovers for us. Um, and he's a playmaker. But at the same time, you could call out any Ravens player for any bad play they made last year. Um, you can go pick on them for any, any particular game or any particular play they made last year that made them look bad. Because it happened. It happened to enough players, period. Um, with Flacco, it happened more games than more games than anybody. But anyway, we're not getting into that. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm. I will be uh, keeping an eye on this, um, and we'll see as the day goes on. And if I'm unable to bring y'all a video during the day, because I am on my way to work right now, if I'm all unable to bring you guys a video during the day, then we'll get one uh, later on tonight. Um, but anyway, just in case anything happens. So we'll see. We'll see what goes down. But I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you. Uh, make sure y'all leave a like on the video if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Because if you're a Ravens fan or just a fan of football and a fan of great news that happens all around the league, this is the place for you, man. This is the place for you. I uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you. I don't know what all these police are doing out here right now. Oh, they just pulled somebody over. Okay. I am out before that guy is me. Appreciate y'all. Bye.